Hello and welcome to the Scientific Adventures of Beard Man. Today we're going to be looking at a, sorry I forgot to put on laser pointer there, we're going to be looking at a concept builder on physicsclassroom.com uh, titled Keeping Track of Momentum Hit and Stick Collisions. This is then the Momentum and Collisions topic. All right, so I've already done a video on the basic idea of conservation momentum. I've done a, a video describing this screen. I'll link both of those here. Um, so feel free to take a look at those. But we're going to get straight into the two examples that I want to go through. By the way, the difference between this one and the last one is the, the, the objects will have different uh, momentums after the collision because they're bouncing apart. They are not sticking together. All right, so let's go ahead and go through and find what we can here in uh, the statement and fill out our chart. So it says a red cart is moving rightward. So that means it's going to be a positive value with a momentum of 100 kilogram centimeters per second. So right car before the collision is going to be 100. When it collides, that's how we knew that that was the, the speed, before, the momentum beforehand. When it collides with a blue cart that is also moving rightward, so it's going to be positive. In our next example, we'll do one that's uh, leftward with a momentum of 80 kilogram centimeters per second. Okay, so first of all, right away, we can see that since we've got the red cards uh, momentum before the collision, the blue cards before the collision, the system is just the total of those. Keep in mind, if one is negative, then you'd be subtracting or adding a negative number, which is like subtracting. Let's see what happens after the collision. The collision causes the red cart to slow down. Actually, before we even do that, let's just remind ourselves that always, because there's conservation momentum, this, the momentum of the system before the collision is going to be equal to the momentum of the system after the collision. By the way, there's a whole question that talks about the fact that the momentum before the collision is equal to the momentum after the collision. So don't miss that one. And the change in the momentum of the system will always be zero. That's the idea of conservation momentum, which comes from a force acting on each object for the same amount of time. Anyways, we don't need to get into that now. Uh, go back and review my conservation momentum video if that is not uh, uh, clear. So then let's take a look at what happens to them individually. We see that the red cart slows down, we don't know how much, and the blue cart increases its momentum to 140. So it's telling us what the momentum is after the collision. Okay, so 140. So we can see, we can get the change in momentum here. Okay, because we know that before the collision it was 80, then it changed to 140. That means it had to increase by 60, so that would be a positive 60. Well, we know if the total momentum change has to be zero, and this one gains 60 kilogram centimeters per second, this one had to lose 60 kilogram meters, centimeters per second. Because whatever one of the carts gains, the other one had to lose. Otherwise, momentum wouldn't have been conserved. So once again, whatever one gains, the other loses. That is also a whole separate question. The idea of one of them gaining a certain amount of momentum and the other losing this, an equal amount of momentum. I think it says changing by an equal and opposite amount of momentum. So then if we know if, this, if the red car started at 100 and it lost 60, it must have ended up at 40. We can double check our work because this 40 plus this 140 gives us the 180 we expected. All right, moving on to our uh, final one. I skipped the wizard level because the wizard level just has the simple idea that the blue cart always starts with a velocity of zero. So if you can do a velocity with a number, you certainly can do it with zero. So we're just gonna do one example here for the two levels. Okay, this is a little bit harder for me to underline here. So, uh, and you, you can see we're given uh, masses and velocities, and we'll have to calculate our momentums, remembering that momentum is mass times velocity. So every time we find a number in the wording up here, we'll write it into our little chart. Okay, uh, 0.5 kilogram red carts. The red cart is 0.5 kilograms, and that's going to be true for the red cart the whole time. We don't have a situation where it's losing part of itself. It is the same red card the whole time. I should be just writing numbers here. You know what? Let me let me do that. 
Uh, we're just going to put numbers in here. That was not what I wanted to do. Boy, you can tell I haven't used this in a little while. Okay, let's get rid of that. Go to the eraser. There we go. It's a circle, and so I picked a circle. Silly, silly me. Okay, so 0.5 kilograms is our um, mass of our red car. Okay, and it's moving rightward with a speed of 100. So rightward is the positive direction. So it's moving with 100 when it collides. That's before the collision. So we can really quickly do 100 times 0.5. That gives us 50 kilogram centimeters per second. All right. Uh, it collides with a one, uh, one kilogram blue car. So these are all one. That is moving leftward. So leftward is our negative direction with a speed of 20 centimeters per second. So 20 beforehand, 20 times 1, or 1 times 20, gives us negative 20 kilogram centimeters per second. <clears throat> Excuse me. After the collision, the red cart continues moving uh, rightward with a speed of 10. So this one's going to be positive 10. And the red cart... Oh, red cart continuing. The blue cart moves rightward with a speed of 25. Okay, so these ones are both rightward. There are some that have a leftward in the final, so just be careful. That would just make it negative, just like we saw over here, uh, where it was negative because it was leftward. Anytime it's leftward, it's negative. Okay, so let's just multiply these. 0. 0.5 times 10 gives us 5. Okay, so the change here from 50 to 5 would be 45. Here we have 1 times 25 gives us 25. Our change from negative 20 to 25 is a change of 45. I'm sorry, the red one actually lost 45. But this one was gaining 45. Once again, remember, you always do final minus initial. So that would be 25 minus negative 20 is mathematically how we got to that uh, 45. Then for our totals, we can just add them up. 50 plus negative 20 is 30. It started out with 30. It had better end with 30 because uh, the momentum before the collision must equal the momentum after the collision. And sure enough, 5 plus 25 gives us 30. And this should always be 0. 30 30 changing to 30 is a change of 0, a change of 45, um, a change of negative 45, and a change of 45 gives us a change of 0, a total change of 0. And that's how you would do the Master and Wizard level. Uh, enjoy puzzling out uh, the keeping track of momentum, hit and bounce collisions on the Concept Builder. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. If uh, you enjoyed this video and you learned how to uh, deal with conservation momentum in a hit and bounce type of collision, go ahead and click that like and subscribe button, and we'll catch you the next time on the scientific adventures of Beardman.